Skype call. Uh, so it does it does messed up things to people's voices. Um, I'm ready. I think so. Can All right. It messes some people up more than others. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I will actually start it. Uh, you can put the headphones on. I will start it w when you're a few words into the first story. So, <clears throat> because we've ordered these and I'm, I'm not a computer techie, we'd like to save that one till the end because that is truly the best okay. one. Okay, so the other one's in, in whatever order? Whatever way you, you feel you can read them. And then this, oh, not the email, but I can read the name, me, or no? The first name. The, me, the, read the first name. So not the full name. Yeah, and we'll save that one till the end. Not saying George P. Thomas of Portland, Oregon, you, this is your, no, okay. You could if you wanted to, okay. but George P. Thomas might find out where you are. He might, yeah. I'll take, I'll <laughs> take that chance. So, we're going to enjoy uh, Steve on the uh, speech channel. Hey, Lynn, Lynn. the performance mic, yeah. or am I just? No, no, you should be fine. Now, Jer, we should have a backup plan. If he can totally outsmart the speech jammer, mm -hmm. maybe you're going to have to read one. Uh oh. <laughs> so, I, I mean, Graham is more saying. affected by it yeah. than I am. That's uh, why, actually. Oh, am I speaking into yeah. the jammer? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, you don't need to actually speak into it. I can just hold it here and it should I know what you get. Let's just. Okay, shh, shh. Here, you can test it for a little bit. This is me testing the speech jam. Yeah, okay, it's working. Yeah, how are you? <laughs> yeah, okay, here we go. Yeah, you can, you oh, okay, can go, I'll go start it when you're a few words yep. in. All right, this is from Danielle. Danielle, this is your story. It's a good story. I was seven. I was at my grandparents' house. We were going to the mall in the car. I was wondering how old my grandma was, so I asked. My grandma, being a good sport, said 47, but that is not what I heard. I heard 72, and the first thing that came out of my mouth was, wow, you should be dead by now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That seems almost immune impervious. to <laughs> I think, Jerry, you might have to read one. I have some theatrical training, ah. so I can sort of focus on I'm Superhuman is what I'm saying. Mm. <laughs> the stories are still good. But. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, to keep reading. But it's hard. Yes. Don't, don't. Yeah. Okay. Adam, this is your story. One Christmas, when I was eight, my mother and grandmother were chatting in the kitchen. Suddenly, they heard me yell, I'm going to kick your bus, baby Jesus. <laughs> baby Jesus is, wow, you're hardcore, man. They ran from the kitchen to see me holding Skeletor menacingly over the manger of a nativity scene. Oh, that's awesome. My grandmother, good Catholic that she was, was mortified. My mother was trying not to burst out laughing. I wasn't allowed near the nativity scene again. That's so perfect. He does it too. I'm going to kick your bones. I can do it as Mr. T. I'm gonna kick your bus, baby Jesus. <laughs> you had a bit of Jesus as going there, but Jesus you know you were otherwise That's very yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. That outsmarted it. This is the second last one. From Lexa. Here you go, Lexa. This is you. It's all you. You're great. I was at summer camp around age ten. That morning I'd found where my mom hid the horrible old stale fruit loops. Who hides stale old fruit loops? Well, I know when my Fruit right? Loops go stale, I hide them. Yeah. I don't throw them out. I, I hide them under Maybe the bed. Maybe the plan was to use them as packing material. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Perhaps that wasn't the best idea. Hours later, I was on the tire swing, and I puked my little fifth grade guts out. Awesome. It was rainbow colored, and the sight made me sick again all over the swing. Aww. All I got for it was a lime popsicle <laughs> and ostracism. That's my favorite sentence in the world. Yeah. All I got for it yeah. was a lime popsicle and ostracism. Steve, as a prize, you can have ostracism. <laughs> all the ostracism you can eat and puke up. Okay. I haven't read this yet. I'm really looking forward to it. This is Amanda. This, this is, is your winner. story, Amanda. TV can be educational. In the early 80s, the Root series about America's history had just been rebroadcast on PBS, but no one thought to educate a three-year-old about what I saw. That is until we were at the Detroit airport. Oh, God, where is this going? <laughs> oh, no. And Tiny Me, in my incredibly loud voice, announced, Look, Mom, slaves. No! Oh. Oh. Wow! At seeing my first non-white people. That's awesome. Oh, no. Apparently my parents are good <laughs> disappearing in a hurry. Oops. Oh, wow. oh, poor parents. Oh, wow. Poor parents. Oh. Poor parents. Oh my god. 
You um, traveled very well. <laughs> My wow. feelings hurt. That's, uh, I'm that so was, sorry that the speech jammer that you were pow more it took powerful. Everything that you're more took everything, powerful. Took everything I had. Oh my god. You have I to talk loudly. Through. Actually, it was really loud. That was actually yeah. the hardest part of it. Is I it can't even get through a whole yeah. sentence well, I tried on that thing. Singing with it the other night. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. Those were so good. Yeah. Yeah. Only because.